Hi Scorpio, my name's Leona from Superconscious Soul and this is your September reading. So, I've already pulled out five oracle cards for you guys, so let's have a look at what your main reading says. Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising, Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising, I just saw the Nine of Pentacles flip there. So you could be maybe possibly looking at your freedom within a relationship. You could have just been made recently single. You could be feeling like you're being a little bit restricted in a relationship. Um, let's have a look. So there we go. Okay, so underneath the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. So this is saying that you're reconsidering, you're re-looking at something, you're, um, you're deciding if there's em enough emotional input for you to stay there. If, if this is actually what you want, because you've tasted all the cups and you're deciding now whether to stick with something or whether to decide to go and manifest something elsewhere. You've also got the um, temperance card, which talks about two things coming together in divine timing. So I feel like this journey is not over. Even if you walk away, I feel like it might come together in, in its own divine timing. Or maybe as you walk away, it comes together. But it's trying to find that right chemistry, trying to find that right balance, yeah? And you're looking at a relationship to see if it has that right chemistry or balance. Or whether you need to walk away from it and manifest elsewhere. So... You do have the Empress card. She talks about new beginnings. She talks about abundance. She talks about fertility, um, possibly a new birth, um, children. You also have with that the Two of Pentacles, which talks about you trying to bring two things together. You're not sure whether to give it this new beginning or you're not sure because... It's a little bit rocky, but you feel like your ships could come in. But then we have this Seven of Swords where it's like you're not sure whether to persist despite insecurities or whether to just get the hell out of there. However, we, the Two Swords denote that there is something that's unfinished, something that needs to be gone back to. So that is talking about that Seven of Cups there. Eight of Cups, sorry. So... What's distracting you is you may feel like there is a third party interference. You may feel like somebody's not giving you their full attention, like they've got their 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 um their eyes on somebody else. You could feel like there is a third party interference for some of you. You could feel like you're not sure between two people as well. Here, you could be the one that's choosing between two people and not sure where to put your energy. Um, you are, however, taking some time to think about it. You are um, looking at it subconsciously. You're looking at it. You could be focusing on it while you're sleeping. You could be just taking some time out because you, you feel like you're having a break before things get too, um, go too far. Or you're just trying to regather your thoughts, regather your, um, your mental, um, patterns that could be getting out of control you could feel like you're a little bit split in your decision you do have the hierophant card so it is talking about commitment this is big institutions organizations this could be about the church as well for some of you deciding whether to go back to a particular church or not um However, the Three of Cups can talk about victory, it can talk about harvest, it can talk about abundance. It's saying that two, after the Two Cups coming together, this is sort of bringing something more to the surface or more to the public view, let's say. It's raising the vibration of the commitment to bring it out into the open, out into the public. Yeah, it's talking about celebration, engagements, um, baby showers, revealing of babies and um, sex, that kind of thing. It's that it's things what where that was between two people that they're bringing out into the open. They're bringing out into 
into acknowledgement in some senses. However, there is some fears there. There is some doubts there. Now, these fears and doubts could be making you pretty... Um, a little bit malicious, a little bit um, angry. There could be outbursts of energy. You may not want to put your energy into this, yeah? You may be putting up massive boundaries and massive um, protection strategies, really, yeah? It's like you're, because you're fearing something or for some of you, you're breaking away from control of something. Something's dominating, something's controlling you. So you're having to put up your personal boundaries in order to um, maintain a relationship or in order to um, maintain how you feel in, how you maintain your inner feelings, how you want to feel, yeah? So that you can feel balanced and you can feel centered. So you also got the card of orphan. So this card can talk about fears. It can talk about fears of abandonment being triggered. It can talk about just general fears being triggered. So we could, or you could be in survival mode. So in survival mode, you could put up certain barricades or you could put up, you could go into certain defensive positions here. Yeah, but I feel like it could be things that are tied to from your past, things that are coming in from your past. Yeah, because I do feel however much you feel this fear or they could have abandoned you at a point and left you um, left you juggling, left you holding the baby in some sense. And now you're wondering whether to have this new beginning or not. So I would say take some time to think about it. Ask your angels, yeah, for advice before you go to sleep on a night. Just ask them to um, let you know and give you some signs even if you're not somebody who remembers your dreams. You've also got the card of reaching for your dreams. It says go for it. So whatever this thing is, I do feel like it's fears and your fears and your doubts that could be holding you back from this. You also got romantic feelings are real and worth exploring, as well as heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And I feel like that's where you may need to release some of these boundaries. You're being a little bit overprotective of your heart, maybe. Maybe you're the person that's trying to dominate or control a situation. You're not allowing it to just kind of be. Um... The angels are saying for your ascended masters, it says you are safe and supported while you change your career. So for some of you, there is a new beginning in a career. You're trying to balance finances, but in that sense, you're you're being told to continue despite insecurity, insecurity, possibly having to leave one job. So now you're taking what you need and you're getting out of there. There could be some financial imbalance for a while, but I feel like it will come back. Um, this is what is your distraction. So the financial imbalances could be distracting you or um, making sure that you're being paid a fair wage perhaps yeah um, are you doing what it is that you love as well for those that this centers around work are you are you fulfilling your passion because this queen acts through passion I'm passionate about something therefore I go for it so possibly there's something that you are uh, you're looking at whether you're passionate about it or whether you're tied to the material um, around a subject so it could also be for some of you that you're releasing ties from toxic relationships and you're starting to now put up your boundaries for others of you, yeah? And you're needing to put up uh, your boundaries, whichever way the energy works, because this isn't um, a personal energy. So I'm going to take some clarifiers for the Empress, the Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Let's clarify that or expand on that, please. Spirit, God, source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that one wants to come out. Yeah, finances. There could be some financial issues around a new start or you're feeling like something needs to be brought into balance before you can have this new start, possibly because of this way they left you before or this way a situation was before. Um, 
For some of you, there could be a raise or some money coming in to allow for this new start. It could be a job and that, um, that you get a bonus or a raise and that makes you... Um, have something to celebrate here it's talking about raising your emotional energy raising your uh, manifestation energy so if you are having financial difficulties it's about raising your energy having fun and um, going out and um, celebrating with friends chilling with small groups of friends because i do feel like you need some time to recoup some time to regather let's have a look at that four of um, swords helping you right now. Yeah, I feel like you're taking some time to think about your decision. You're taking some time to think about things, whether you want to be single here or whether you want to... Um, you're, you're, you're looking at things one thing at a time so that you're not getting too overwhelmed or you're not getting too distraught. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody that may be looking at their singleness or they're looking at um at their career their job perhaps so you're either looking at your freedom or you're looking at um changing your career but if you are looking at changing your career you are protected there i do feel like with the hierophant it's telling you to push forward, to stand in your truth about something. The Knight of Swords is a message of communication that could bring in some clarity for some of you. Yeah, we've just had the Ten of Cups fall out of that. So whatever communication this is, for some of you, that's a job offer that brings about this emotional fulfillment because this Ten of Cups is something that radiates out to others and then you're there celebrating that fact with your closest people. Let's have a look at this Queen of Wands and the Devil card. Yeah, you're getting out of there. For some of you, you're getting out of there. Or it's somebody being caught in a lie, yeah? Somebody being caught in something dodgy here. Somebody escaping. I see somebody escaping from a situation that's quite toxic as well. Yeah, we have the Three of Swords there. Somebody could be coming out of a relationship. I feel like for some of you... There's some communication that comes in and bring clarity. However, the devil card. Let's let's get some more clarification. Yeah, there's a judgment coming in. So for some of you, you're going to take this relationship back. And for others of you, you are so not. You're going to walk away from it. There's a big judgment that you have to make this month. Now, you have to look at it very carefully. Look at it, each thing one by one. For others, you're gonna go rush. You're gonna go ahead with commitment this month. You're gonna get married. You're gonna um, move in. You're gonna get that job. Yeah, the wheel of fortune. This is turn things turning in your favor. Now, for those of you that are seeing toxic things within your relationship, I see that you may move forward more in terms of your career. Yeah. And for those of you where somebody comes in and they come back and they come with something a little bit better, they come with a better offer. I feel like you need to have some communication. And after this communication's been had, you will know whether you're going to give this a the judgment card or not because I do feel like whoever it was there's this communication that needs to be had about what went on before for some of you even if it's a job it could be communication at how they're treating you for some of you and putting up your boundaries and getting your worth out of the situation and I do feel like once you've had these communications this confrontation this because the Queen of Wands, be careful not to kind of hurt them too much. Because the Queen of Wands in reverse can be very violent. She can be very aggressive. Um, but there is a need to more stand in your truth with this situation and come with and and bring more clarity so that that can kind of pull out a few of these swords and you can get past this issue. So I really do hope this has helped. Take care. Stay blessed. Bye bye.